Hello everyone, we're looking today at the changes in IGCSE biology uh, for Cambridge exam board. Uh, IGCSE biology has these exam codes 0610 and 0970. Now, the changes are quite uh, big. Uh, there are many, many topics that have been removed from the syllabus. So what I want to do today, I want to show you what topics have been removed so that you don't study and what are the new additions to the syllabus. Now, these changes are only applicable starting from May, June 2023. So it wouldn't be applicable in the year 2022. And these changes will still be applicable until the year 2025. Overall, there was no changes in the exam structure. So you still have the three exam papers, paper two, paper four, paper six, and they are still allocated the same percentages, 30% for paper two, 50% for paper four, and the smallest exam percentage is for paper six. Even the time for each exam paper is still the same. So it's still 45 minutes for paper two, uh, 75 minutes for paper four and uh, one hour, 60 minutes for paper six. The big changes come from the actual exam content. So the syllabus has been largely changed. It has basically become easier because there are so many topics that have been removed. So if you look at the publication of the syllabus, you would still find that everything regarding the exam papers, the time, the division of the syllabus extended and core, nothing has changed in these terms. What has actually been changed is that there are many topics taken from the old syllabus. That's the old syllabus here. Many topics from the old syllabus that have been cancelled, removed. So what I want you to do today is to look at these topics and make sure that you don't study these if you're taking your exam in 2023. Now, so again, the exam papers are still the same, but there are massive changes in the contents of the exam. Over the last year, I've been updating my IGCSE complete notes. Now, uh, this book has been around for almost 10 years now, and this has been the largest change. So as you can see here, the book now is applicable for the 2023 syllabus. I have removed all of the things that are no longer included, and I've added those small extra details from the 2023 syllabus. Now, I want to show you where are the topics that have been largely changed. So excretion, uh, coordination and response. The part about drugs has been changed uh, massively. To a less extent, you have uh, human reproduction and the part about ecology. So those are like the main topics that have been changed. And I want to go over every single topic to show you what exactly has been removed or has been added. Let's start with excretion. For the new syllabus, they have taken away the part about the kidney machine or the kidney dialysis machine and about the kidney transplant. So those have been completely been removed. So you don't study questions or you don't solve questions about these two topics. So again, excretion, there shouldn't be any Thing related in the new syllabus I'm talking here. There shouldn't be anything related to the kidney machine or the kidney transplant. One topic that has been changed very largely is the part about drugs. So they have basically taken away all things related to heroin, uh, stimulants, alcohol, uh, smoking of uh, cigarettes, all of the diseases related to smoking like emphysema and bronchitis. Those have been completely been changed. So again, uh, all about alcohol, heroin, nicotine, but they have now made this topic of drugs all related to antibiotics. So that's like the only thing left of drugs. So let me show you what I've done here. So in my uh, textbook, so topic 26 about drugs now only has the antibiotics and the part about antibiotic resistance. So there shouldn't be anything related to any of the other drugs except for antibiotic. Human reproduction is another topic that has changed a lot. So the part about prenatal care, methods of birth control like the condom, the femidom, the surgeries like vasectomy, these are all been removed. Uh, steroids is also been cancelled. 
development of the fetus, like the definition of development has been cancelled. Uh, the process of birth is also removed. Uh, comparison between bottled milk and breast milk is also being cancelled. Now, the part about HIV, the virus of AIDS, this is still there, but they have cancelled out the part about the effect of this virus on the immune system. So again, in relation to human reproduction, all of this list has been removed. And just be careful to study HIV itself, the virus, but do not study the part about the relation between the virus, HIV, and the immune system. There are two other large topics that have been completely cancelled. The first one is the one about the lymphatic system. So there is no more lymphatic system questions in your 2023 exam. Also, the part about the formation of tissue fluid and the formation of lymph, it's also been cancelled. There's another large topic that used to be very large part of the paper four exam, uh, the one about the malaria and about sickle cell anemia. So this part has also been completely removed from the 2023 syllabus. I want to show you some other small changes in the syllabus. So in human nutrition, they have removed the part about taking care of the teeth and also about tooth decay, but you still have the structure of the tooth as part of your new syllabus. Deficiency diseases like marasmus and kwashiorkor core, these have been removed. In plant nutrition, they have taken away the part about the greenhouse and the enrichment of greenhouse with fertilizers, carbon dioxide. This has also been canceled. There's a part about conservation which is the water treatment process, this has also been cancelled. So overall, these are the other small changes in plant nutrition, human nutrition, and in conservation. So dental decay, glass house, the water treatment, and the two deficiency diseases, they've also been cancelled. So I want to show you the last two changes, and then I want to show you how would you prepare for the examination. So in ecology, we've seen there was water treatment has been cancelled, but you also have acid drain, nuclear fallout, and its effect on our bodies. These have been cancelled. So do not study anything related to these two topics. So again, in ecology, you no longer have anything related to acid drain, water treatment, and nuclear fallout. These are not part of your exam. Here I want to show you how would you prepare for the exam of the new syllabus, the 2023 exam. You must make sure that you're only studying the topics that would come on your exam. So make sure you have an updated textbook like the one from Cambridge here. Uh, this one has all of the topics that have been updated and nothing from the old syllabus. The only problem with this textbook is that it has so much details. It's like almost 400 pages. You don't really need all that much detail. So you must make sure that you have notes, like short notes, straight to the point to prepare for your exam. And that's what I've been preparing. So this textbook, uh, it has all of the things you would need for the exam. I've taken the syllabus part by part, and I've put the required notes. It's basically based on the actual exam. So I've taken the mark scheme of many exam papers and I've compiled them into notes. And these are the notes that have been used by so many students and they've succeeded with very, very high grades. Let me show you a quick look at my textbook. So you can see here there are sample pages taken from the book. And as you can see, there are small yet full notes about each and every part of the syllabus. I've like made diagrams to make it easy to remember all of the key terms in uh, biology. You have comparison tables, so it makes it easy for you to make those comparisons on the exam. You have mind maps to show you all the relationships between different things like here I have a comparison or a mind map to show you the relationship between insulin, glucagon. Uh, in addition to this, you also have uh, exam tips, so like things you would have to follow while you're studying and some exam techniques that would be very helpful on the exam day. Above all, you also have uh, videos, like you have videos that would explain some parts of the syllabus, or sometimes you have videos to show you experiments, actual experiments done by Cambridge 
examiners. In addition to the notes, you would still require a lot of practice to succeed with high grades. Now, as I told you earlier, you need to practice exam questions, but these exam questions have to follow what's there in the new syllabus. And this is what I've done here in my classified past paper book. So in this book, I've compiled all the questions that you would need for every single topic. And I've compiled all the questions that would come on your actual 2023 exam. So let me show you some examples here. So we have, for instance, this is gas exchange. And you see there are questions only related to this topic. And above all, you don't need to look at the mark scheme because I've written the answers. So you only need to look at my answers and compare your answers to mine. Uh, in my, the way I write the answers is that I've include every single point in the mark scheme, but I write it in good sentence in a way that you could understand what would the examiners need you to uh, write. I have put a link in the description to my website. You have the entire IGCSE biology and chemistry courses where you get notes, classified exam papers, and video lectures that cover the entire syllabus.